Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. Your normal host, Andrew, is out today, but luckily you have a world-class ASM artiste to fill his shoes. My name is Dingly Man, and I intend to give you all of the tingles as I whisper the news and titillate the juices of your brain. Unfortunately, I can't do light triggers because this is audio only, but feel free to glance at a light bulb occasionally for a similar effect. Anyway, it's time to ASMR the news. First up, Sam Bankman Freed has pleaded not guilty to five fresh criminal charges, including allegations that he paid a $40 million bribe to Chinese government officials. The new charges are in addition to the eight counts that were initially against him, meaning the fallen FTX founder is now facing a 13-count indictment. Oh no, that's a lot of indictments. SPF's lawyer, Mark Cohen, has questioned the validity of the five new charges that have been added since he was flown from the Bahamas to the U.S. He told the judge, We wish to note by pleading not guilty, our client is not acknowledging that he can be tried on the new counts that were brought after his extradition. That will be the subject of one of our motions to your honor. Well, he did say that, but he didn't whisper it like I did. FTX's new management has pushed back at SPF's request. 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 For access to directors and officers' liability policies worth $10 million. The 31-year-old has argued that these funds are needed so he can mount an effective defense in the 16 cases that he currently faces. SPF has warned that he would suffer substantial and potentially irreparable harm if he was denied access to the funds. But uh, there's a plane. There's a plane flying overhead. I'm going to wait for it to pass. I'm going to wait. Don't mind the plane. Okay, I think it's gone. But the committee representing creditors said directors and officers insurance policies exist to protect the company and its directors and officers in situations where they make honest decisions in the ordinary course of the business. This is not the case. Again, they, they didn't whisper this. This is just Tingly Man. They've also argued that he's unlikely to win the cases as other executives have pleaded guilty. And finally, Coinbase's CEO has spoken out against plans to pause experimentation with artificial intelligence. <laughs> More than 1,800 people, including Elon Musk, who is just Mr. Popular these days, have signed a letter calling on AI labs to pause the training of powerful systems beyond GPT-4 for at least six months. It reads, should we let machines flood our information channels with propaganda and untruth? Should we automate away all the jobs, including the fulfilling ones? Sorry, there's a garbage truck outside. Just let's wait for it to pass. Let's wait for it to pass. Nope, still there. <clears throat> anyway, should we develop non-human minds that might eventually outnumber, outsmart, obsolete, and replace us? Should we risk loss of control of our civilization? Wow, that's very dramatic. But Brian Armstrong argues that this is a bad idea and said committees and bureaucracies won't solve anything. He wrote, As with many technologies, there are dangers, but we should keep marching forward with progress because the good outweighs the bad. Again, he didn't whisper that. That's just me. Tingly man. And speaking about the good outweighing the bad, it's just like having a new ASM artist host. That's going to outweigh the bad of not having Andrew around. Your host, Tingly man. Humbly requests that you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. And what did you think of the news whisperer today? Let me know in those comments below because Andrew, he's gonna read them when he comes back. Tell me one more tingly man in your lives. Do you have any questions about our headlines or perhaps crypto in general? Well, take the plunge and ask Alex in that description below. Alex is always a great resource for all things Web3 and the Metaverse. And that wraps up today's news. I have once again been your host, Tingly Man. Find me on Patreon, and these have been your headlines. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the weekend. Andrew will see you Monday.